Well, it is the end of an era in Leon County. We learned just a few hours ago that the International Horse Trials, the Red Hills, they're held here annually in Tallahassee since 1997. That event attracted the best riders from across the globe, including those who have competed in the Olympic Games. Those trials were hosted here at the Elnor Phipps uh, Park here. You can see where the trials are matched here right on this map. They're not going to be happening here anymore. It's right between Meridian Road and Lake Jackson. The park boasts a number of attractions, including trails for mountain biking, hiking, birding, and of course, horseback riding. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live from where that event always took place. Candace, how are riders taking this news? Channing, I spoke with a former Red Hills competitor earlier today, and she shared with me how this was a loss for the entire community. It's disappointing and it's, it's really hard. After being denied a highly ranked division, co-organizer Jane Barron says Red Hills has called it quits. The premise of the bid was keeping one particular international designer here. And when we lost the four-star division, which is the upper level division, um, we lost that designer. From there, there was a ripple effect. After not being able to lock down a well-respected designer, it was hard to fill competition slots. The Red Hills team decided there wasn't enough revenue to support the event any further. The equestrian competition that has taken place for 25 years. With 220 competitors, the event brings in 20,000 attendees annually. To no surprise, this event is not planned overnight. Instead, it can take up to a year to put together and requires 500 volunteers on average. Though the event is supported by volunteers and sponsors, it costs upwards of 600,000 to produce an event of this size. You get to come and watch the top riders. You get to see the Olympians, Boyd Martin, Karen O'Connor. We've gotten to see them in person, in our flesh, you know, right in front of us. And it just, it's so inspiring. Lillian Van Winkle started at Red Hills as a volunteer at just six years old. Now, 20 years later, she shares the experience with her mom. Last year, she competed for the first time at horse trials. She shares the experience was thrilling because it was something she had worked towards most of her life. Now, with the news of the closing of Red Hills, Van Winkle can't help but think of the kids coming up behind her. Looking back that are, you know, 10 or 11 and they probably have had the same goal that I had to one day ride here and they may not get to, to realize that goal and that's really, really sad. As for what's next, Lily Van Winkle says she will continue to compete with her horse, Cleopatra. Live in Tallahassee, Candace Blake, ABC 27. All right, thank you, Candace. And the United States Equestrian Federation says they are sad to see the event leave their calendar, releasing a statement today saying in part, quote, we appreciate all that the organizers of Red Hills International Horse Trials have done to grow and support the sport of eventing over the years. The International Horse Trials have experienced their share of hardships over the past few years, too. The event was canceled in 2020 due to the pandemic beginning. Then it was held without spectators in 2021 due to the pandemic precautions. 2022 was the first time the event allowed spectators back after the start of the pandemic. The trials brought in over $3 million locally. Now Red Hill says they'll no longer pursue holding the trials after the decision from USEF.